Star Wars. Star Trek. Star Wars. Star Trek. Star Wars. Star Trek. Star Wars. Star Trek. Oh my. Star Wars! Star Trek. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Trek, 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 Star Trek, Star Wars. Hi, I'm Jeff Jockox. And I'm Adam Scott. And we're TNT Movie Geeks, and to this week we saw Star Trek. The reboot. He is, awesome. He's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> he's such a Star Trek fan. I, and I, I wore this Star Wars shirt to Star Trek, which made me feel like a rebel. And for some reason, the Even theater... Even though it's an Imperial shirt. I and the theater like played a lot of Star Wars music. That's the best part. Not only too. did a odd. Star Wars fan, who never really grew up liking Star Trek, J.J. Abrams, not only did he create the best Star Trek movie ever, but they played Star Wars movie music like the entire time before the movie. Yeah, but the movie was great. It was. It was a very good movie. I have to say, one of not only the best of the Star Trek films that I've ever seen. Uh, I think it's one of the best science fiction films I've ever seen, and I wish I could go right back in and watch it right now. And it really does. It 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 has just a great cast. Yeah, the cast is superb. The cast wins you over. The first minute they're all on the Enterprise together, you start. You're like, wow, they're really clicking. And I think the two standouts are Zachary Quinto as Spock. And um, uh, Carl Urban as Leonard McCoy. Really, just phenomenal, uh, phenomenal redos of these of these characters, and just and the plot to go along with all this. It and actually, they actually act like the the characters. Wow. You know, they they take it they make it their own, but they actually bring a little something of the past with it too. It's a very fine line that they're walking, but they but they make it. Yeah, they manage to not stomp all over the. Uh, Older performances, and yet they actually managed. And Chris to do Pine is Kirk. What did you think of it? I, I I thought it was actually a little eerie. The whole Chris Pine, you know, a little similar to Christopher Pike, who's which you know, is the, the original... original captain of the Enterprise in this. Uh, Jim Kirk eventually gains control of the ship, and uh, we don't want to give too much away with of the plot, it, but uh, it's very true to character of how Jim Kirk gets control of this ship. Yeah, everyone everyone in this acts how you would expect the character would yeah. act. And you know, so. while Chris Pine makes that character his own, he does have a little bit, I don't know, acting homages that go out to uh, um, uh, help me out here, William Shatner. Shatner. <laughs> just a little bit of Shatner-esque qualities here and there. A few inflections, just the occasional little... The really quick speaking there. after, you know, the long speaking, then get more really fast, you know. Yeah, yep. it's really cool. I enjoyed it immensely, and I highly recommend it. And and again, the the plot, wow. You're, he's a big <laughs> Star Trek fan, so. It's, uh, it, it's, it really, really does. Eric Bannon is the bad guy, yeah. also hey. very good. Yes, yes, as, as, as Nero. The first Hulk. Well, so. the second Hulk, I don't know. Anyway, okay. all right, now it's but. time for this week's. Worst Movie News Ever! This week's worst movie news ever, from the director of Saw. Oh boy! It's another remake. Yay! Another horror remake. Uh huh. Another holiday-themed horror remake. Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Just in time for you, mom. Uh -huh. She loved it. No, just <laughs> doubtful. About a, uh, it's about a killer brothers who uh, try to appease their mother by raping and killing girls. <laughs> That's the original. Yeah. Um, which just sounds like a jolly good time for High everybody. concept. Yeah. And now they're doing it again, except this time they swear they're going to bring in the failing economy into the new uh, version. Oh, so, that'll make it better? Yeah, that, so not only are you getting um, the Mother's Day script, but you're going to get with a, with a metaphor for today's uh, economic state. All right, it'll be even more depressing. It's the thinking man's Mother's Day. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for this week's. Worst movie news ever! You know, I really wish that we, we made that up. I wish we made last week's up. I wish we made a lot of this stuff up. Yeah, but sometimes you just you just can't. There's one thing I am going to do. I am going to make something up to you for pulling the Daffy Duck at the beginning. Huh? I got you an early birthday present. And it's birthday is the 15th. And it's Happy Star Trek Day. I so hope it's I not a red shirt. Star Trek colors. 
and a Spock glass. All right. Sweet. All right. Thank you. And I got myself a Kirk glass. Well, okay, what I get? So that's Spock the... and why'd you get the Kirk glass? Oh, come on, man. It's obvious. Anyway, so next week we're going to have, um, what do we have? What? Angels and Demons. Angels and Demons. Angels and Demons. Uh, the sequel to um, Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code, mm -hmm. which is actually a prequel. Still, because because uh, I'm a captain. Captain of what? <laughs> Everything. All right. I'm Jeff John Cox. And I'm Adam Scott. And that'll be uh, next week on TT Movie Geeks. Tom Hanks, without the long, creepy hair. See you then.